Well, when it comes to your child's backpack for school this year, experts are saying lighten the load. That's right. Backpacks that are too heavy can cause a lot of problems for kids, and buying the right one for your child can be crucial for their long-term growth and their posture. And in fact, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission says an estimated annual average of 7,500 kids under 19 years old were treated in emergency rooms for injuries related to backpacks from 2017 to 2019. So this morning, we're on your side with physical therapist Meredith and Jackson to talk about how kids can improve their posture. Good morning, guys. How are you? Hey, how are you? All look, right. They look you like they school. Look at these bags. Look at these bags. Oh, I love it. Okay, so tell me about this. You know, these kids are heading back to school, some as early as today, even yesterday. So there's going to be a lot in those backpacks. Yep. So what do they got to do? Um, so some of the research is showing now that you want the backpack to be lighter than about 10 to 15 percent of the child's body weight. Mm. Um, and you really want to make sure that as you're stacking the books and the heavier objects in the backpack, you want to put the heaviest things closest to the body. Okay, so the heaviest closer to the body. Mm -hmm. So what about like carrying? Because now I'm carrying and stuff like that, and I feel like mm -hmm. I'm automatically <laughs> hunched yeah. over. Yeah. So stuff like that. Right, so we want to make sure that if we're carrying things, first of all, if we have mm -hmm. something on our back, that mm -hmm. our backpack straps are nice and tight. So okay. it's up Okay, so higher. is that what you have here? Yep, yep. so we both nice have it pulled up back. nice and high. Um, and so if you are going to carry something in your hands, mm -hmm. in addition to that, we want to make sure we're holding it close to the body and keeping the chest up as much as we can. That's such good information, y'all. Okay, so I remember when I was in school, because kids have a lot of their work on their iPads now, but when I was in school, we didn't have iPads, right. so I was walking around like this, okay? Cut my height in half. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm just walking around going to school like this. That's I, had so many, I looked ridiculous, but while they might not have as heavier book bags, one thing that kids have to deal with that we really didn't growing up is tech neck because they're constantly looking down at their phones. Can we talk about how we can avoid that? Is there anything to help us deal with that when it comes to kids looking down at their phones? Yeah, so most of it's going to be postural stuff in the classroom, trying to keep things up towards about face height um, and not bending the neck down like you were saying. Um, there's also postural exercises that we can do such as chin tucks and scap retractions to help kind of offset some of that posturing that we get all day where we're kind of rounded shoulder and forward head posture. Well, that's good too. So what are there any like stretches that maybe we can do like to kind of really alleviate any of that? Mm -hmm. Let's just say after a really long day. Yeah, so you can um, get a foam roller or roll up a piece of towel and then put it right in between your shoulder blades and just lay on your back and that'll kind of help let gravity push your chest open and okay. the head back to help kind of offset some of that stuff we do all day. I feel like I'm going like I this. I know. <laughs> Honestly too, now that we're talking about posture, like, I realize that I'm like this all the time. All right, so if, if parents parents are at home and they're setting up their computer area for kids, how, should they have the computer up higher, lower? Where should that laptop be situated? Really you want eye level, so you don't want to have to strain your neck or turn any sort of direction up or down, so you want it right in front of your face. Okay. Ideally, if you can have a swivel chair, so if you have multiple monitors, you can move your body and not just your neck. Ooh, so we need a swivel chair and it to be <laughs> eye level. That's honestly, these are really great tips too for all of us who work from home or use a computer a lot as well. Right. And are you seeing a lot of this right now, uh, you know, at Ascent? Um, so we don't necessarily get too many backpack related injuries, uh, but we do see a lot of like peripheral neck nerve strain. issues stemming from yeah, neck straining or low back strains. Wow, okay, so that's pretty common, unfortunately, as we right. mentioned, we're yeah. in that tech in, that tech lifestyle right now. Yeah. So that's what you can do there for your lower back and stuff Love like that. Love that. Now, really quickly, because we have to wrap up, when do people need to go see a professional? When does, is there a certain pain that you're feeling that you're like, all right, it's time to go see somebody about this? Honestly, the sooner the better. If you feel something that's a little bit off and you just, you know your body better than anybody else, you mm -hmm. feel something's off. In South Carolina, we have direct access. So we as physical therapists can see any patient without a referral unless they're Medicare age for up to 30 days. And then if we need to continue on, then we get a referral from a physician. That's really good information, especially mm -hmm. for parents knowing that they can take their children to come <laughs> see y'all. If they're dealing with this, really, if they're dealing with this, you know? Yeah. Meredith Jackson, thank you guys so much thank for taking the time this morning. Thank you.